Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I, I have a message for you because I know you're all struggling with this one. Um, and you should be struggling with it because you are a human being and human being uh, is subjected to tribulations, trials and tranquillities um, if he gets over their trials and tribulations. So on that prism, on that uh, on that line, um, with all its shades of all different colors and experiences, uh, emotional experiences for most, but also cognitive changes, please don't forget who you are. Please don't forget who you are and why you're going through it. Now, itila, meaning trials and tribulations, they will be in different shapes, in different forms, and everyone will, well, I, I like to refer to it like it's honoured. Um, not necessarily in prison, but it's honoured to have their own uh, version of Iptila. Your test is not comparable with your neighbor test. Your test is not comparable with your parents' test. No one really knows how much it hurts you and what it takes for you to get over whatever is it that you need to get over due to your cadre. So the reason why I said cadre is because you're really forgetting. You're really forgetting why it is what it is and why is it that you need to do what you need to do. And the reason why you're forgetting is because of cadre, because of Tawhid, because because of Akida. You're forgetting the main, uh, one of the most important uh, elements in your faith if you are a Muslim. And a believer, because all believers, they believe in something of a divine destiny. You can't escape from it. Just like you can't escape from being human or, or being soul, you can't escape from your destiny. We're all just playing the roles, uh, getting along with responsibilities and trying to survive traumas of Iptila, trials and tribulations, that is. So don't forget who you are, meaning you are the servant of God. You are a soul who is coming back in her, uh, in her memory at the level of Fitra, at the level of your inner knowing that you belong to Allah. You're not independent in this world. You're not almighty in this world. You, uh, you're not all knowing in this world. You're not all receiving in this world. Uh, you're not all, they're all giving in this world. There are people who are healing from knowing you and there are people who are placed in your life to for you to go on the healing journey because you met them and whatever is it that they've done or haven't done for you. That just the way it works. This is who you are. You are on the journey in that prism uh, of from trials to tranquility, from uh, from challenges to successes, uh, from um, pity party to complete um, to complete personal emancipation. Uh, you are on this prism, and you're always going to be on this prism. You can't escape from this uh, from this rule in this world, from the nature of this dunya, and from the designed, meticulously designed for you, kind of destiny, divine destiny from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't forget who you are. You are his creation and you're living surrounded in his creation. There's no way, there's no how you need to adjust. So whilst we are adjusting to the reality of our kadir and this dunya, the reality of this world, it's best to remind yourself on a daily basis that that's just the way it is. And I know it's boring. I know sometimes it feels unfair. I know sometimes it feels isolating and you just feel you can't do it anymore. But you know what? You're still here. You're still here and you're waking up to another day, very, uh, very likely to the same routine the same day over and over there again until something shocking happens and this shocking uh, might be bad or good positive or negative yet uh, yet along it's going to change your the course of your life or it should change the course of your life forever and it will never be the case of you recovering from those shocks and we can call them traumas, we can call them life stage changes, we can call them um, <clears throat> challenges uh, we can call them life choices, we can call them people, uh, we can call them personal growth, whatever change is it that you're going through. Again, you can't escape from it and you will never get the best out of it until you do what? You remember who you are, meaning you in a constant flux, you are in constant change because flux and uh, flexibility and change is around you. 
don't forget who you are. You are a person, you are a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is struggling to find its balance and that's the way it should be. Because it is him who is almighty, it is him who is all knowing, it is him who designed Mizan and you're just trying to actually uh, reconnect with this idea, reconnect with his essence. That's the only thing that's going to bring you Sakina and a sense of success in this dunya and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully guarantee you, uh, this is my do for you guarantee you a better hereafter that is dunya moving uh, that is moving out from dunya to akhira now um the reason why uh, you sometimes or maybe maybe too often finding yourself relieving the same emotions when you coming across iptila is because of your procrastination to change i'm sorry that's just the way it is so if you finding yourself um in different situations with different people in different cycles uh, or maybe in different stages of your life still feeling sorry for yourself still feeling that you haven't deserved it still feeling that you should be better still feeling and thinking to yourself that you are worthy less that you uh, don't deserve that sometimes very often uh, it's better for you not to be here because you're just wasting time all of those things to which we can give different labels all of those things which uh, mainstream approach will call depression or negative thoughts or ne negative self-image or negative or maybe low self-esteem all of those things if they still dragging you know, or if they're still dragging behind you uh, that means you haven't done your job that means you're procrastinating procrastinating for change and very often we're procrastinating for change because we are scared of change so you know what they say it's better to stay in your mud it's better to stay with your ugly than be scared and feel unprepared and feel unskilled for your better version of self because sometimes uh, mess and trauma and drama is all we know this is our narrative about world um, and sometimes I would say far too often in our life we're just too scared to be courageous and go on the other side so we're procrastinating for change so we're procrastinating from digesting the itila trials and tribulations you can't reach that tranquility sakina acceptance of your kadar until and unless you go through the whole process of trials and tribulations and you reconceptualize dunya for yourself and you reconceptualize the kadar of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for yourself and you reconceptualize the idea of you it's a long journey it's a difficult journey uh, but um, the higher you go the more work you do on that, there are more personal and spiritual rewards on the other side. I wish all of to all of you, I make dua for all of you, including myself, I need that dua as well, that it's going to be accepted from us and that we're going to get the best tools, the best support and the best time, the best time in learning how to become stronger believer because stronger believer is better than a weak believer and if you still think and if you still feel that you are a weak believer and there's so much for you to learn and so much for you to do and you feel overwhelmed with that don't forget the end of the hadith because the end of the hadith says there's goodness in all of them so keep on striving and inshallah if you need more information more help with that you know where to reach me www.ajs-therapy.com assalamu alaikum